all right, I'm going to show you from scripture about how we're supposed to walk by faith, not by sight. I'm going to show you examples in scripture of people walking by faith and also what happens when they stop walking by faith and the consequences of that. Okay, so first, let's go to John chapter 20, verses 27 to 29. Thomas, he was blessed by Jesus Christ for walking by faith and not by sight when he saw Jesus Christ after the resurrection. John chapter 20, verse 27 to 29. Then saith he to Thomas, Reach hither thy finger, and behold my hands, and reach thither, hither my hand, and thrust it into my side, and be not faithless, but believing. And Thomas answered, and said unto him, My Lord and my God, Jesus saith unto him, Thomas, because thou hast seen me, thou hast believed, blessed are they that have not seen, and yet have believed. So he was blessed by Jesus Christ, because he believed, but and he walked by faith. He wasn't walking by sight. He believed and trusted Jesus Christ. He was blessed for that. Jesus Christ rebuked his disciples during the storm for having little faith and being fearful as a result. This shows that a lack of faith can be a gateway to ungodly fear. Matthew chapter 8 verse 23 to 27. And when he was entered into a ship, his disciples followed him. And behold, there arose a great tempest in the sea, insomuch that the ship was covered with the waves, but he was asleep. And his disciples came to him and woke him, saying, Lord, save us, we perish. He say, and he saith unto them, Why are ye fearful, O ye little of faith, ye of little faith? Then he arose and rebuked the winds and the sea, and there was a great calm. And the men marveled, saying, What manner of man is this, that even the waves and the sea obey him? So they are little of faith, and they are in danger as a result. And Jesus rebukes them for being a little faith. They were not walking by faith, and they almost drowned as a result. When Peter stopped walking by faith, he could no longer walk on water, and he began to sink. And of course, he had to get Jesus to help him. Matthew chapter 14, verses 25, 25 to 31. And in the fourth watch of the night, Jesus went unto them, walking on the sea. And when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were troubled, saying, Is it a spirit? And they cried out for fear. But straightway Jesus spake unto them, saying, Be of good cheer, it is I, be not afraid. And Peter answered him and said, Lord, if, uh, it, thou, if it be thou, bid me to come unto thee on water, on the water. And he said, Come. And when Peter uh, was come down out of the ship, he walked on the water to go to Jesus. But when he saw the, the wind uh, boisterous, he was afraid, and, be, and beginning to sink, he cried, saying, Lord, save me. And immediately Jesus stretched forth his hand, and caught him, and said unto him, Thou, O thou, li, o thou of little faith, wherefore didst thou doubt? So Peter, when he had little faith, he began to sink, and he was doubting. He was not walking by faith, literally walking by faith on the water. He was doubting, and when he stopped walking by faith, he began to sink, and again, he almost drowned. Uh, when a woman who had the blood-related blood disease was healed because of her faith, she was healed because of her faith. She had faith that Jesus Christ could heal, could heal her. Matthew chapter 9, verses 19-22. to And Jesus arose and followed him, and so did his disciples. And behold, a woman which was diseased with an issue of, the, of blood twelve years came behind him and touched him, uh, touched the hem of his garment. And she said, and she for she said within herself, If I may but touch his garment, I may, I shall be whole. But Jesus turned him about, and when he saw her, he said, Daughter, be of good comfort; thy faith hath made thee whole. And the woman was made whole from that hour. So her faith made her whole because she had faith that Jesus Christ could heal her. She was walking by faith. And her blood-related sickness was, was healed as a result. Jesus Christ healed two blind men because they were walking by faith. They had faith that Jesus Christ could restore their vision. Matthew chapter 9, verses 27 to 30. 
And when Jesus departed thence, two blind men followed him, crying, and saying, Thou son of David, have mercy on us. And when he was come into the house, the blind man came up to him. Then Jesus saith unto them, Believe ye that I am able to do this? And they said unto him, Yea, Lord. Uh, yeah, Just making sure I have the right verse. Yea, Lord. And then touched he their eyes, saying, According to your faith, be it unto you. And their eyes were open, and Jesus straightly charged them, saying, uh, See that no man know it. So their faith, again, you know, their faith, they had walked by faith, and Jesus Christ could heal them. According to your faith, be it unto you. So when they're walking by faith, Jesus was healing them. If they were trying to go to some, you know, witchcraft, you know, witch doctor or whatever, it was not going to work. They had faith that Jesus Christ could heal them. Funny, because when Jesus Christ healed the, the ear of that Roman servant that Peter cut off, funny, because that would have been enough to really convince anybody that he is God manifest in the flesh. But of course, the Romans didn't believe him, which is a whole other issue. But when you're walking by faith, great things can happen. Next, the prophet Ezra displays another good example of, of living by faith and trusting in God for protection. God is watching over the righteous and punishes the wicked that seek to do harm. Turn to Ezra chapter 8, verses 21 and 23. Then I proclaimed a fast there at the river of Ahavia, Ahava, hope I'm saying that right, that we might afflict ourselves before our God to seek of him a right way for us for and for our little ones and for all our substance. For I was ashamed to require of the king a band of soldiers and horsemen to help us fight the enemy in the way, because we have spoken unto the king, saying, The hand of our God is upon all them that seek that f to them for good that seek him, but his power and his wrath is against all them that forsake him. A uh, so we fasted and besought our God for this, and he was entreated of us. They are walking by faith. It's funny because you got the Pope who is having this armored bulletproof vehicle and all these private security. He's not walking by faith and trusting in God. Shows that he's a you know false prophet, and a, you know he's going to split hell wide open. It's. He's not walking by faith. He's not trusting in God. You see, none of the apostles had you know private military security protecting them as they went places. There's one example in the Book of Acts where Paul had the uh, Roman had a Roman military escort, but that was only because he was a Roman citizen, not because he was a Christian. I believe it's uh, Acts either Acts 21 or 23. I can't remember the exact chapter. It's not in my notes. But uh, next, Abraham, Sarah, Moses, Abel, and Enoch and Noah. All did what they did by faith, and their obedience in a dire situation was by faith. Hebrews chapter 11, verses 4 to 12. By faith, Abel offered unto God a more excellent sacrifice than Cain, by which he obtained witness that he was righteous. God testifying of his gifts, and by it, he being dead yet speaketh. By faith, Enoch was translated that he might that he should not see death, uh, and was not found because God had translated him. For before his translation, he had he had this testimony that he pleased God. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. By faith, Noah being warned of God. Of things not seen, as yet moved with fear, prepared an ark to the saving of his house, by which he condemned the world, but by the which he condemned the world, and became heir of the righteousness which is by faith. By faith Abraham, when he was called to go out into a place which he should uh, after receive for an inheritance, obeyed, and he went out not knowing whither he went. By faith he sojourned in the land of, of promise as in a strange country dwelling in the tabernacles with Isaac and Jacob, the heirs with him of the same promise. For he looked for a city which hath foundations, whose builder and maker is God. Through faith also Sarah herself received strength to conceive seed, and was delivered of a child when she was past, when she was past age, because he judged him faithful who had promised. So they did all those amazing works because they are walking by faith. Without faith it is impossible to please him. Talked about that again in verse uh, verse 6. Walking by faith is how you do things for God. You don't walk by sight. See, a lot of these charismatics out there, they want to walk by sight. They want to have a sign of wonder that were for the Jews, according to 1 Corinthians 1 22. You walk by faith, not by sight. It's interesting how verse 1 says that faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. That's verse 1 of Hebrews 11. You see, 
You don't look for things seen. Faith is the evidence of things not seen. Romans chapter 8, verses, I believe it's verse 24 and 25, talk about how, you know, if you're looking for, if you're hoping for things that you can see, you're not really hoping for it by faith. You know, paraphrasing, of course. But, you know, one of the reasons why the rapture is called the blessed hope is because you have faith that you're going to be taken out. The rapture is the blessed hope. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. When you walk by faith, you do things for God. But when you stop walking by faith, you become like Peter and you begin to sink in the water. You become like the disciples and they're afraid they're going to drown in the storm when you don't walk by faith. But when you walk by faith, uh, the examples are, you know, how the woman with the blood-related disease was healed and the blind men were healed that had their vision restored. You see, you don't put your things in things you can see. You put your, you have your evidence of things you can't see. That's what faith is. Walk by faith, not by sight. So I just wanted to show you guys that. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.